Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about project management. Here I've created a demo company for project management. In Business Central, you can perform project management tasks such as configuring a job and scheduling resources, as well as providing the information needed to manage budgets and monitor job progress. You can also track machine and employee hours on the project by using timesheets. As a project manager you have a good overview of employees, machinery and other resources and items being used in the project. Before we can start using project management, we have to set up a few things. We have to set up the posting groups for job. That is, the GL accounts to which all the entries related to the job will be posted to. We have to set up resources that will be used in the job. We can also set up items if we are using items in the jobs. Then we have to create jobs, job, task lines, planning lines in timesheets. We can also calculate work in progress here. So to start, we will search for jobs. Here we will create a new job. The number will be the number that we have created in the number series. Here we can enter the description for the job. Say for example I'm taking new job. We can add the customer that we want to bill the whole job to. Rest of the details will be auto-filled according to the details we have entered on the customer card. Then on the job task lines we will enter the details for the job. We will create different task lines for different steps that will be involved in a job. Here let's create a simple example here. Let's go with 10. Job task number 10, consultation and planning. Then let's create another line. This will be for installation and delivery. Then after creating the job task lines, we have to create the job planning lines where we will assign the resources or the items that would be required to complete the job task. We will have to fill in the planning lines, we can go and fill it from here one by one for every job task line or we can go to navigate and go to job planning lines. Here we will select the job task number 10. Then we can see here are three options here in the line type. One is budget, one is billable, and one is both budget and billable. Budget is for budgeting purpose. If we have selected the line type as budget, we can add it to the schedule but not invoice this line. If we select billable, we can only invoice and not add it to the schedule. So, we will select both budget and billable planning date will be 13th of April. And we will select the resource for this particular job task. Let's select Kevin. We will enter the quantity. That is the number of hours the resource has worked. Then for the second job task, we can select another resource. Let's go with Lena Townsend here also we will select the number of hours worked on the job. That's all. We will only create two planning lines for this job. In reality, we would have a lot more planning line. Then we can go back and create the timesheet for the resources. We will search for timesheets. Then we will go to create new timesheet. Then enter the date we will have to start it from Monday. We can enter the number of weeks the resource has worked for us. First one was Kevin. Let's open another tab that would be easier to see the resource on the planning lines. We will click on OK. One timesheet has been created. Then we will create another timesheet for a second resource used. We will have to create this separately for every resource that we have used. The second one was Lena Townsend. Rest everything will be the same and then click on OK to create another timesheet. We can go to the job section and then click on our job that is new job. And navigate to the planning lines to see how many hours the resource has worked. Now we can enter on the timesheet how many hours the resource has worked for us. Line type will be job. Here we will enter the job number. The job task number. And on the 13th, he worked 5 hours on the job, that is Kevin. Now we can go and submit this timesheet for the manager to approve. And the second one is Lena the resource that we have used on the job. The job task number would be 20. On the 13th, she also worked 5 hours to complete our job. Now we will submit this timesheet as well. 
We can assign the manager and the owner of the timesheet on the resource card. You can go back here and now search for manager timesheet. This is for the project manager or the one who's handling the project to approve this timesheet. After checking that if the resource has worked for 5 hours, we can go ahead and approve or reject this timesheet. Here we're going to approve this timesheet. We will do the same for Lena. Now, we can see the status that is changed from submitted to approved here. Now, we have to record the usage of our resources or items. Whatever we have used, we can go to the job journals. We can fill in these lines manually or we can go to the prepare option, and then select suggest lines from timesheets. Here we can enter the starting date and ending date. We can enter the job number filter. You can also create the job journal lines by resource or by task number. We are going to create it for the complete job. Or let's for example to show you. We will enter the task number. For the extra line, we're going to delete this first. Then select both budget and billable. Enter the document number. Now we can go to the post option and post the journal line. Now on the job card we can see that, we have completed 55% of the project as we have completed the first task, we have entered the usage. So now we can see that the first task consultation and planning has been completed according to us. Here we can see the remaining usage for the second one that we have not posted yet. The actual total cost for the first one that has been posted is 625 and 850. That has been transferred from budget lines or billable lines to here. We can also invoice the customer for the amount of work that was completed on the job. Or we can invoice the customer when the job is completed. Now we have an option to calculate WIP. As the job progresses, materials and resources and other expenses are consumed and incurred in the job, and it is important to the record it. WIP or work in process is a feature that enables you to estimate the financial value of jobs in the general ledger, while the jobs are still ongoing. It is important to keep track of all the expenses, resources or materials that we have consumed in the job, before the job is completed, because the project will last much longer in reality. This will help you keep track of the ongoing costs of the job. Then after the job is completed, we can transfer the work in process entries to the finished product entries, that is from the balance sheet to the income statement. Here we have different methods. To calculate work in process we have selected the percentage of completion method. So according to this method, the system is going to calculate the work in progress sales and costs from the percentage of project that we have completed. This is the job posting group that we have set up. This is the posting method for the WIP that is selected as for a job. We have two options here, per job and per job ledger entry. Right now, we can see everything is zero in the WIP and Recognition Fast tab. We will go to WIP Select Calculate WIP. Select the posting date 13th as the job date, so we will select 14th. Enter the job number, and then we can click OK. Now the system will calculate the WIP according to the method that we have selected. We can preview the posting accounts. We can see that the WIP sales and cost amounts have been posted on these accounts in the general ledger. We can close this and go ahead and post these entries to the general ledger. We can run the post WIP to GL section here. Now we can see that here these values were zero. Now we can see the recognized sales GL amount the sales that we have incurred for the 55% job that we have completed. Now after calculating or posting the WIP to G, L, we can see all the entries on the WIP and Recognition Fast tab. We can follow the same steps for the other job task lines as well. Then after completing this step, we can go ahead and create job journals for the other task as well. We will go to the job journals Prepare suggest lines from timesheet. Let's go with task 20 that's left. We will delete this extra line. Select the line as both budget and billable. 
Enter the document numbers 20. Then we can go ahead and post this line as well. Now we can go back to the job card and see that the percentage of job completed is now 100%. So, we can again run the WIP to calculate the remaining WIP sales and costs amount. Now that the job has been completed, we can go to the complete section, and it will give us a notification that we have to calculate the WIP before we set the status as complete. We can go ahead and post the remaining WIP to the general ledger. Now we can see that the entire cost and sales has been recognized. We can go and see the chart of accounts. And we can see that the WIP entries that were posted to the balance sheet has now been transferred from the WIP job sales and WIP job cost account to the job sales accounts and job costs account on the income statement whatever we have set on the posting groups. So if we have the same type of job like the repeated job that we do again and again, we can use the copy jobs function from the process field to copy the job task lines so we don't have to enter them again and save some time. Here we also have the options to see the reports for the jobs. So back on the job after we have posted the final work in process entries, we can go ahead and post a sales invoice for the job. We can go to the tasks fast tab click online then go to documents and click on create sales invoice. We can create invoice per job or by job task. Here we are going to create a sales invoice for the entire job. We will select the job number then we can also select the job task number and then click on OK. Then we will again go to lines and go to documents and click on sales invoice to view and post the sales invoice that we have created. Click on open sales invoice and check the sales invoice and then we can go ahead and post the sales invoice for the job. Now we can see that the invoice for the job has been posted. We can go back to the job card and see that the job has been 100% invoiced. Now we can set the status for the job as complete. So, that's the functionality of projectmanagement.in Business Central. Thank you.